If you wanna increase the views for your YouTube videos, then this video is for you. I'm going to show you how to split test two variations of your thumbnails so that you can further increase your click-through rate, which in turn increases your views. You're welcome. I'm Amanda Horvath and I eliminate the obstacles to getting you sitting where I'm sitting right now, in front of the camera, sharing your message with the world. So if you're ready to start that video show you've been dreaming of, then be sure to subscribe and click the bell to be notified every time I release a new video. In last week's YouTube video, I broke down my custom YouTube thumbnail process in Canva. I talked through the mindset that goes into creating thumbnails and how to think through various options of what you might create. Well, when you are creating thumbnails, we are basing it on our opinion of what we think works or doesn't work. When you split test your thumbnails, you're going to be basing the results on data. We're going to use TubeBuddy in order to do this split test today, but if you do not have TubeBuddy already and you would like to add this to your toolkit at some point while watching this video, then I have a link to my affiliate link in the description below. I get a very small kickback when you use that link, so I would be oh so grateful if you would. Truly though, this tool, I don't recommend it just because it's an affiliate link, it is an incredible tool that I believe anyone that has a YouTube channel should have because it makes it so much easier to discover how to rank your videos on YouTube and gives you additional features like this AB split test which are going to further increase the effectiveness of your YouTube videos. There ain't no point creating videos without TubeBuddy. So let's dive under the computer and I'll show you how to split test your YouTube thumbnails. The best way to access this tool is from the homepage of YouTube. When you have downloaded TubeBuddy, it's going to show this icon up here. And when you click on this, this will drop down to website tools and then to AB test. When you click on that, that will take you over to the split test dashboard. Now, if it's taking you to a page that has onboarding videos, then that just means you haven't yet connected your YouTube channel with the TubeBuddy account. So you'll need to do that first before you can access this page. And I also wanna point out those onboarding videos are super solid, so I recommend watching them. I will link to those in the description below as well. So here you can see I've already done several different tests in the past. Some have more variation than others. And this was just me playing around to see what worked and what didn't and how I could further increase those views even just by a little bit. So in some, I kept the text the same and just made a different face. In others, I changed faces and I did different text. And in others, I completely changed the photo entirely. This one, I just flipped the image to see if it made a big difference. It really didn't make much of a difference. Then others, you know, it's a totally different option as well. So let's click on one of these and see what it looks like behind the scenes once you have run the data. So it will do its thing for a few days. I think you can choose how long that it does it for you. This was a 14 day test starting on January 1, ending on January 14th in 2020. And it says, hey, test is complete. Based on the click-through rate, the original version of your video outperformed your variation by 35.6%. And it is st statistically significant. So you can see a 6% click-through rate is going to be a lot higher than 4.4. And this is going to increase the overall people that are seeing your video when it's done properly. It gives you all this different data, shows you what the views were on the different days, where people found your video, whether it was YouTube search, suggested video, browse features, or anything like that. And then it gives you the recommendation to keep the original version of your thumbnail versus the variation or vice versa. Now let's walk through how to set up an A-B test from the beginning. So you're going to click on this create A-B test right here and then you can choose which thumbnail or which video you would like to test for. We will do the latest video just to test it. And you can choose whether or not you just do a thumbnail test or if you change multiple different parts of your video, the title, the thumbnail, the description, anything like that. Now, I would not recommend doing that just because you won't know what made it 
make a difference, right? It wasn't the thumbnail, was it the title? I don't know. So the recommendation is to do one thing at a time. So I would just stick to testing your thumbnail. You can set the number of days that you want to test it. We'll do thir uh, 14, that's what it recommends. We can start it ASAP and we will click continue. Now we can browse and find an alternative thumbnail for this to see which one works best. So I'm going to choose this as an option. It just has a different color background and I've changed the color of the font. I could choose any of these that to play with and test. It's not based on what I think looks best. It's based on the data. So we'll click open and then we can go ahead and start the test. Here it's going to tell me when the test results will be ready. So I could set a reminder on my phone or computer, calendar, wherever I want to, to come back and see how the test did. And that would tell me whether or not I should keep the original or change to the variation. So as you can see, this is an incredibly powerful tool that you can add to your arsenal. So I hope that you do. Once again, I have linked to my TubeBuddy affiliate link in the description below and would be oh so grateful if you choose to use that if you are new to TubeBuddy. And if this video is helpful, please be sure to click like, drop a comment below. It really helps me out because YouTube is an algorithm. And if you would like to learn more about that algorithm and how to get your YouTube videos ranked, then I will link to some videos on the screen here as well as in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.